Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do the diagonal Pelican flying on shutdown. So to start off, this is going to be a controller only trick or joystick in general. It doesn't have to be an Xbox One controller, but it does require a joystick. So this trick does not work on mouse and keyboard. However, I do still recommend having a mouse and keyboard ready for later portions of shutdown. Okay, so to get started, this is what the trick looks like. Okay, so this is the trick successfully being formed. And you can see that the wing on the pelican is being lifted upwards with the wing trails almost being uh, perpendicular to the pelican. So how do we perform this? So I have, I have the controller displayed on my screen very large so you're able to see what I am doing. So the only thing that's required for this trick is to be holding boost and holding slightly upwards on the joystick. For those of you who are just starting out with this trick, I suggest going to a 45 degree angle, such as this, going sideways and then slowly rotating the joystick until you get your curve. Such as that. So let's do that in like an attempt. 45 degrees, slowly rotate, wing pops up, and now we're good. That is going to be the easiest way to perform this. But if you just want to yellow it, I'm holding my joystick in the correct position right now if you want to do some visual indicators. Uh, what I personally do is if you look at the center of this joystick right here and you point the joystick roughly in that direction towards like the middle or uh, slightly more over to the right edge of the uh, trigger here, that will give you the perfect angle every time. And as you can see, I'm doing it right now. So... It's very precise. So that does not work. This will work. This does not work. This does work. And then you and then this would work, but it's not going to be as fast. So there's going to be this small wiggle room here where it will still work, but you're probably going to lose about 5 seconds. Okay, now that we got the setup for the trick done, let's go over how to put it all together and what the route looks like. As I revert, I'm going to go into position. So first thing we're going to want to do here is slowly turn sideways until we get about to this building. Then we're going to flip all the way around and slowly turn. Until we are approximately at this looking angle. It's kind of hard to tell when you're first starting, but if you, if you see this black line on the side of my screen as I come in, uh, you kind of want to point the left hip on the back side, like the side closest to the left bottom corner of your monitor, just slightly in that direction, and that will line you up pretty straight. But let's go over, so that's the route. Let's go over how to perform that route. Okay, so I'm going to slowly push my joystick over to the left. You don't want it to be instant because instant will not multiply the speed as fast. And so the reason we want to do this slowly is so that way the speed is multiplied evenly. And we're not losing speed to turning. So if we could do a slow turn here. A very slow turn such as this and that'll be very good 
And then you want to flip here fast, or else you'll miss, they'll hit this building, and then a slow turn here as well. Okay, and now, with that in mind, you'll be going straight here. Now you're probably asking why I have these coordinates on. So this is pan cam, and this is how I can tell I'm lined up perfectly with the hole. And so we have our first two coordinates in the left corner, and then we have our third coordinate before the backslash. This is a very important coordinate. When we're doing this trick, we want it to be negative 44, which is right here. Anywhere in the negative one or negative 44 range is a bit lenient though, so it could be negative 45 and negative 43.5. But this is pretty important. This will line you up perfectly with this part of the hole right here. So that way when you enter with mouse and keyboard, all you have to do is hold space and then hold E and you'll get perfect entries. So let's, let's do that now. If you do mess up, you could always just go into the angle here. If you do happen to pull off this trick in full game and you mess up the initial angle, well, the best bet there is to do the safe strat and do the 45 degree angle, but resetting will only lose you about two to three seconds. So I'm at my 45, 44 negative right here. I'm ready to entry. I will pause my game and switch to mouse and keyboard at this point. And that's perfect entry. And that is how you do pelican flying. It's a very straightforward strat, but it is pretty weird to learn uh, when you're when you've never done it before. So biggest tip: forty-five degree angle. Rotate very slowly until you get the tilt. Once you're in the tilt, kind of lock your thumb in place and focus on small movements on this far over joystick. Let me pause, okay. Slow movements like this. So this is all the way over. I wanna do about a halfway joystick turn. So half joystick turns, or sometimes even lower, depending on your dead zone radius. That's what will multiply your speed, give you the fastest speed possible as soon as possible and also give you the straightest line. So if you perform this trick perfectly, you will always be able to get between the range of 132 and 134. And your entry into the hole should be 119 to 120. So the rest of that variance is gonna be in the entry, of course. And that's obviously gonna vary a little bit depending on where your position is, with the pelican in relation to the hole. Yeah, 132 to 134, you can expect a 135 every once in a while. After 135, you're going to be losing time. So check to see, okay, what's my entry time? What's my uh, setup time? And a good way to measure what kind of, where you're losing time at is in, the, in between the first two towers, there's going to be this pylon in the middle that's floating. If you pass that any slower than a mi minute and 10 seconds, you're losing time. So you wanna be passing that a minute, 10 seconds. Ticking over to 111 is fine, but 110. If you're getting like a 114, you're losing time and you're probably not completely into the diagonal flying. So keep that in mind. And then, um, yeah, you should be able to get Sub 142 is pretty quick, followed by 136s, and then the 135s and 34s will come rolling in once you get used to yellowing the first joystick. So I hope this tutorial helped, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.